In this video, we want to go over some of the properties of water, H2O, dihydrogen oxide. Uh, water is absolutely essential to life as we know it. It is probably one of the most, if not the main constituent uh, component of most life on this planet. Uh, water is necessary for life and it has a lot of fascinating characteristics about it. And we just want to go over a few that I've got on the board here behind me. So when we think about uh, water, we need to think along the following lines. It's got a high polarity. Uh, it is um, easily bonded with hydrogen. It's cohesive. It's adhesive. It has a high specific heat, high latent heat, and high heat of vaporization. Now, what does all that mean? Uh, when we talk about polarity, having a high polarity, it means it readily bonds with polar ions and molecules. Uh, it readily wants to do that, which makes it a good solvent. Things dissolve in it easily, and uh, it wants to adhere and connect to things, this adhesiveness. Now, things that water likes to connect to and it wants to adhere to, uh, those substances are called hydrophilic. So it adheres to things well, it's got a high polarity, so things dissolve well in it. It does not want to break its hydrogen bo uh, bonds very easily. The bonds within the hydrogen don't want to separate. And uh, because of that, that's why we get this high specific latent heat and heat of vaporization. Uh, cohesiveness, water is attracted to itself. <laughs> it likes to stay together. Um, so the high specific heat um, relates to the hydrogen bonds within the atom uh, resist breaking apart. It's resistant to that, so that raises the level of vaporization. So you have a high boiling point, a high vapor point of water. Uh, the high latent heat within water means that it resists motion and temperature change. Uh, mostly the temperature change is what it resists there. And uh, once again, that feeds into this high vaporization point and boiling point a very interesting property of water. Another thing that's interesting about water is when it is solid, when it becomes ice, instead of getting heavier, it gets lighter. So it's one of the few substances that in its solid form is lighter than its uh, room temperature form. Most things when they are in their solid form are heavier. So uh, water has that interesting attribute that when it gets solid, it gets lighter. And of course we know that because ice floats. So anyway, these are just some of the things that are related to the properties of water, uh, dihydrogen oxide, H2O, fascinating substance, necessary substance, and one of the main constituent components of all life on this planet. Without it, uh, we could not live. Uh, this has just been a basic overview of these concepts. If you'd like to learn more about this and related matters, underneath this video, you'll see a link. If you'll click on that link, it'll take you to the website that has that information. And while you're on that website, you'll also find a link to an ebook that's ready for immediate download.